Welcome to Pencil College. In chapter 2.7, we'll be learning how to solve logarithmic equations, which are just slightly more advanced compared to what we've been doing in the previous chapters. Okay, so the lesson objectives, we want to apply the, loose, the rules of logarithm, okay, to solve the equations, and we want to learn how to evaluate logarithm to any base. Okay, so this is law number one, as you can recall. So another way of writing it is log a y is equals to x. It's true if and only if y is equals to a to the power of x. Okay, example number one. So in example number one, we want to solve this equation. Okay, and in order to do that, we will apply some laws of logarithm. So over here, I will apply, okay, this law, okay, and 1 can be converted to log 10. Okay, next, in order to combine these two expressions together, the minus sign will symbolize a division function. Okay, so this can be written as this. Okay, take note here that 5 squared is just 25. Okay, so these two functions, when when uh, subtracted, is converted to a division sign. Okay, so same for what we're going to do on the right-hand side of the equation. Okay, finally, at this point in time, to get rid of the log on both sides, we will take base 10, okay, or, or equivalently, we can just conveniently reduce the log. Okay, so this will give me this. And the next step will be to cross multiply. So 25, 2x minus 1 equals to 10x plus 2. Okay, so simplifying this, we get this. Okay, and then if I shift my 10x to the left and my 25 to the negative 25 to the right, I'll get this. And dividing both sides by 40, I will just get x equals to 1 and 1 8. Okay, moving on, in example 2, okay, we will still be applying the similar laws of logarithm that we have learned in the previous chapters. Okay, and at this point in time, let me just perform some uh, tricks to the 2 over here. So 2 can be written as 2 times log 2, 2. Okay, recall that log 2, 2 is just 1. Okay. Okay, at this point in time, let me shift this 2 up, okay, to become the power. So log 2, and 2 to the power of 2 is just 4. Okay, and moving on, when the these two terms are added, since they have a common base, this will be converted to a multiplication. So this will be, this will look like 4 times x plus 2. Okay, and finally, since I only have one expression or one term on each side, I can conveniently reduce the log 2. So this will give me x minus 1 square equals to 4 times x is 4x plus 8. Okay, so to solve this, okay, all I need to do is to expand everything out. So if I have to expand everything out, this will give me this. And shifting everything to one side of the equation, this will give me this quadratic equation and factorizing the quadratic equation, I'll get this. And so x is just negative 1 or 7. Okay, example 2b. So similar trick, I will shift this 3 over to become the power of 2. So this becomes 2 to the power of 3, which is just 8. Okay, and log x 18 equals to 2. And 2 can be written as log, sorry, 2 times log base x, x. Okay, why do I do this? Because I want to make all the bases of log x, okay, in this example. So log of 8, log base x 8 plus log base x 18 is just log base 8 times 18. Okay, and this is 2, sorry, this is, this is just, uh, 
log x x square okay if you're wondering where the square came from i bring up the 2 to become the power of the power for x and 8 times 18 is simply 144 so log x 144 equals to log x x square so at this point in time since there's only one expression on each side i can conveniently remove the log x okay and if i write in a nicer manner x square is just 144 so x is plus minus the square root of 144 which is just 12 or negative 12. Okay, take note that negative 12 is rejected, okay, because in the previous laws that we learned, the conditions rather for logarithm, the base of any logarithm, okay, so let's say base, the base of any logarithm here can never, okay, or rather must always be positive. So negative 12 is rejected. So my final answer is just x equals to 12. Okay. So just to summarize, in this chapter, we are solving more, equa more logarithmic equations, building on the knowledge that we learned in the previous chapters, which are the eight laws of logarithm, the eight laws of logarithm. So if you have forgotten that laws or anything like that, please watch the previous video. And before I end off, I'll just leave you some practice questions. Thank you for watching this video. For more videos, please log on to pencilcollege.com.